flow through entity like a partnership or an S corporation on a K1, but it's still usually fairly straightforward that it's going to be interest, although it's a little bit harder to organize your forms to double check them. Sometimes you might have some kind of interest that's reported on a 1099 div as well, but uh, and also note that the interest form not might not always look exactly like this because the financial institutions might structure the form a little bit differently, putting possibly the interest and the uh, dividend form close to each other because the same financial institution often is responsible for issuing a 1099 interest and a 1099 div because both of those things are typical of, of investment institutions. Now, where do we report this or where will we see this coming through on the form 1040? We have line uh, 2A, which has the tax exempt interest to be the taxable interest. So both uh, exempt and taxable interest being shown on the schedule. So even if we're not being taxed on it, we need to basically show it and we'll still see the evidence of it there in part because you would think the government wants to see if we get a large amount of interest income, whether it be taxable or not, they can tell that we must have a decent amount of money put away somewhere that's generating interest. So then if this amount goes over a certain dollar amount, then you'd have to attach Schedule B. So Schedule B not required, but unless it goes, unless it is, right? Not required unless it is. If it goes over a dollar amount, we have the interest and uh, ordinary dividends. We're focusing in on interest this time. And in this case, we'd have to list the name of the payer because now the IRS wants to know who paid you. If any interest is from a seller finance mortgage and the buyer used the property as a personal residence, see the instructions. So that's going to be one somewhat of a special situation. So let's imagine just a normal interest situation. We're going to go back on over and say that we had interest income. Let's just say it came from bank number one. And I'm just going to say that it was $100. 